you know what day it is? It's survey day! Where we get to look at a blizzard survey! Oh. Oh. Uh, if you're a fan of Hearthstone, though, you might want to turn away. Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface in what should be the first of two videos today. This one and then later on, there's actually going to be a video about a former Blizzard employee whose time at Blizzard, let's just say, was not a very happy one at all. I've managed to talk to them over the course of the last couple of days and I'll bring you that video, fingers crossed, later this evening. If it isn't how I want it to be though, it might get pushed into tomorrow, but just to make you aware, in case it doesn't. Uh, but I woke up today to numerous emails in my inbox by people saying, hey, Az, have you seen this? And there is a Hearthstone survey going around. And I can't pinpoint any specific pattern to this survey because it seems to have gone out to multiple different places. I've had people from the UK send it to me, from Spain send it to me, from the US send it to me so it's just gone and done the rounds and the reason why i'm quite particular about this survey is there is a couple of questions which make you go ooh as regards to what blizzard plan uh, what blizzard plan for hearthstone bearing in mind of course what has happened to heroes of the storm and that is very important indeed because we can speculate in this video and if you want to just say back well that's not going to happen heroes of the storm you just have to look at that so this that i'm showing you is uh, some of the questions that were sent through to one person this isn't my survey i will give my opinion on a couple of things later on but this is you know if you see any answers they're their answers not my answers i'll be quite happy to give you mine um, but this is a cross-section of some of the questions. The one I've got up is not important at all. I just wanted that there when I did my waffle at the beginning of the vid. Ding! Uh, right, so this question, though, gets right into the thick of it. Uh, pretty early doors. If there was no Blizzard-sponsored Hearthstone tournaments, how likely are you to play Hearthstone in the next 30 days? Ouch. And then we've got very unlikely, somewhat unlikely, neither unlikely nor likely, somewhat likely, and very likely. Lots of likely everywhere. <sighs> he says in one breath. Uh, now this, again, is really important because of Heroes of the Storm and what happened with Heroes of the Storm. And in particular, i got to say from a personal position, I find Hearthstone tournaments dull as dishwater. Uh, I really do. You just got two players who are literally sat there like this. Playing cards. It's it's not exciting to watch from a personal standpoint. I don't get any personal enjoyment out of them whatsoever. Uh, just seeing the screenshots of them just sat there looking like they just want to and end everything uh, makes me, me laugh. So I personally don't watch Hearthstone tournaments. I tried once. I couldn't do it. I, 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 I just needed to, I needed to take some antidepressants afterwards. I need it, but that's just my personal opinion on it. But of course, there are a lot of people who are invested in Hearthstone. It's one of the most popular stream titles on Twitch. And that says a lot. That says that there are a lot of people who are prepared to watch Hearthstone. And I know on Twitch you can engage a lot more with certain people. Some people will be very uh, stoic. But you can engage more and they can understand the tactics that they're using and da-da-da and things like that. And they can be entertaining streamers. You know, tournament-wise kind of gets uh, a little bit different. Uh, but it's still right up there. And it's been right up there for years. And it's had a, a, a big consistency. So there's an audience for this so it's really intriguing to see why this question would actually pop up and i think one of the reasons that this question has popped up and it, we'll get to this later on in the video as well is money uh, hearthstone isn't making anywhere near uh, the money it was making we've seen that from the quarterly earnings reports uh, we've seen that sales in card packs have gone down drastically uh, so there is a potential, of course, that Hearthstone might have hit its peak. 
You know, it might have hit its peak and it's just inevitably going to go down on a downward curve in terms of uh, expenditure within the game. And if that's the case, and if Blizzard are looking to cost cut, you know, if, if you are answering neither unlikely nor likely, somewhat likely or very likely, if you're giving somewhat of a, a you know, a, yeah, yeah, I'd still play anyway, you know, good chance I'll play anyway, then they might just go, well, screw it. You know, if we get rid of the tournaments, it ain't going to affect who, who logs onto the game and who plays the game. So we can save some money that way, uh, which would obviously have a big knock-on effect to tournament players, to esports players, again, uh, if you think Blizzard care about them, don't, uh, because we already saw with Heroes of the Storm uh, at BlizzCon, they said to eSport players of Heroes of the Storm uh, that next year there will be tournaments and the budget will either be the same as it was this year, if not more. And then six weeks later, they're being told uh, no eSports at all. So if you think they legitimately care, they don't. Uh, they got a really shafted. And so uh, the chances are that they could just repeat the same to these people right here. Uh, so this is a somewhat of a nervy question. I would say unless the first two are hit in huge numbers uh, to, to really justify uh, the eSport tournaments, uh, they could be looking to, to cost cut. They could even be looking maybe just get rid, trim the fat, get rid of a few of the tournaments, maybe get it a little bit more concise or something. But... That is a really doge question to ask immediately. Then we've got, how much do you agree or disagree with the following statements about the value of Hearthstone cards to you? I get good entertainment value for the money I spend uh, playing Hearthstone. Card packs are fairly priced. Which would pre-purchase promotion of 70 packs? 50 packs plus 20 bonus was fairly priced. It is necessary for players to spend money in order to stay competitive in Hearthstone. Year of the Mammoth bundle for 30 packs was fairly priced. I get good entertainment value for the time I spend playing Hearthstone. Uh, it is necessary for players to spend money in order to have fun in Hearthstone. So quite a few uh, things mentioned there. Now a couple of them are hid behind me, but I'm way too vain uh, to get rid of the camera, so tough shit. Uh, but I will go through. I got personally uh, priced out of Hearthstone a long time ago. Uh, I did rather enjoy playing Hearthstone, and about a year and a half ago, I gave it a really big push. I literally blitzed all the cards that I could to get dust to create specific cards so I could come up with a meta, do one of the metas, and, and go for a, a concerted push up the ranked uh, tables. I got to rank three. Uh, it's the best I've ever done. I was quite happy with that. But that was kind of like a last hurrah for me. Because unless you live on Hearthstone, unless you live on the game, you simply won't generate the gold because of the gold cap that they put on daily. And therefore, you don't have the gold to uh, buy multiple packs on a consistent basis. Or, of course, that gold can be used to go into the um, uh, arena and try and, and get, you know, some rewards from there as well. So unless you're living on the game time-wise, you know, those people are going to get value for time. I personally didn't get value for time because I'm not somebody who wanted to live on Hearthstone. And so... I felt that I would always be inclined to purchase packs because I didn't spend that time in the game. So I just bowed out. It just got too expensive for me. I was just like, right, I had a, a good push. I got to third. Boom. It's time for me to personally call it a day. And so on a, yeah, on a personal level, I just think the game's way too expensive. I think it's a money pit. And uh, maybe it's just got to that point where... You know, the people who spend all their time and effort have managed to accrue so much gold they don't need to purchase packs anymore. And people who are coming into the game feel as if they can't get anywhere without purchasing packs and bow out very quickly. And I think that's why we've seen a sharp spike and then decline in the actual revenue uh, in Hearthstone itself. Then it's like, how uh, rate how important each of the following features is to you in Hearthstone community ranked mode, eSport tournaments again, get back to that in a second, uh, overkill keyword mechanic, casual mode, ranked mode monthly rewards, tavern brawl, uh, Rastakhan's rumble solo adventure, and then three hidden behind my beautiful face, arena mode rewards, 
uh, daily quests and card balance. But again, eSport tournaments, if they're going to be looking at these. Uh, if it's not important at all, you know, slightly important, uh, they're going to be looking at the apathetic responses. How many apathetic responses they get to this? Um, these aren't my responses, by the way. So again, it's a second a second showing for eSports that could be cut down. And although I personally, like I said, find the uh, eSport tournaments, you know, there are people who invest a lot of time and effort into getting where they are in, in uh, Hearthstone. And as I said, it is such a vastly watched game on Twitch uh, that just because what's good for the goose ain't necessarily good for the gander. Uh, you know, there are plenty of people, I think, who um, or plenty of audience out there for this game. Which of the following best describes how you feel about Hearthstone on its way down? Blizzard, I'm trying to give you some help here. Stop putting this at the top. This is the one that you will all, people's eyes will always be drawn to, just naturally. It's that psychology. Jesus Christ, how, who works for your company? This should be on the bottom. This should be up there. Jesus. Anyway, uh, on its way down, holding ground on its way up, uh, which we've seen before on other ones. And then, uh, depending on what you've answered earlier in the questionnaire, you could be given uh, further questions like this one. Earlier you mentioned that you are not likely to play Hearthstone in the next 30 days, which the following describes why you are not uh, playing or wanting to play Hearthstone. Less time in general for gaming. Friends I usually play with aren't playing or available. Financial reasons. Technical problems or trouble accessing the game. Get the out of here. Uh, want to play something different, no longer enjoying Hearthstone. And they've put no longer enjoying Hearthstone. So again, uh, if, if, if they get a lot of this one at the bottom, then it might cause them to look at how they structure Hearthstone. Maybe, maybe not. It's Blizzard, Activision, Blizzard, who, you know, they do what they want. Uh, but if they like looking at things like, you know, friends aren't playing or less time in general, they, pff, eh, whatever, they ain't going to be bothered about that kind of stuff. So, uh, an interesting survey, uh, I feel. Uh, again, I think this was really uh, to, to test the waters as regards to potentially cutting down further esports, cost saving, cost cutting. We know that this is the buzz term for this financial year for Blizz. Because it's such a poor indie company! Uh, and not just a filthy, stinking rich company that for some reason don't want to invest in games for gamers. Oh yeah, because they're just interested in shareholders. That's the only reason why. Scrimping money to give to shareholders for profits. Uh, but if I was a Hearthstone player, I would be legitimately concerned about some of the questions which were asked in this survey. Because if you think, don't worry, they won't do anything... Heroes of the Storm. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do get a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming links. They're in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.